Deaf and hard of hearing, DJ Guide Shelby shares her travel experience as a person who is hard of hearing. Hi everyone, my name is Shelby and I'm a deaf and hard of hearing guide for Minnesota Hands and Voices. Today I want to talk about traveling because I love to travel. I've been to about eight different countries and I've traveled to a bunch of different states here. And there are times when I'm traveling that I face barriers because I am hard of hearing. So I want to talk about some ways that I overcome some of these barriers. So I'm going to start with traveling at the airport and getting on a plane. I usually sign up for text alerts because that way I don't have to rely on listening to the announcements that are on the speaker system or trying to ask somebody what the announcement was. And with the text alerts, I can just get the information right on my phone about anything about my flight. And then another thing I usually do is I let the airline know that I'm hard of hearing. And then when I get on the plane, I also let the flight attendant know um, that I'm hard of hearing. So they'll come around usually and say they're passing out food or they ask me what drink I want. I usually misunderstand that and don't hear what they're saying just because the plane's a little noisy. And I just let them know I'm hard of hearing. Can you say that louder? Or can you write it down? Or even just gesture and show me which options you have. Other ways of traveling. I have taken a tour bus before actually too. And that was really great, but it was also difficult to hear the driver if he was talking about something while we were passing it or um, trying to hear the other passengers. So what worked best for me was I would sit in the front of the bus on the right side because I don't hear out of my right ear. And I would use my FM system, which is a little microphone that transmits to my hearing aid. And I would ask the driver to wear it and I would explain how it works and a little bit about my hearing difference and how this can help me hear you better when you are giving the tour. So I've never had anyone say they didn't want to wear it. All of them were more than happy to. And I remember one when I was in Scotland and he would just wear the microphone and he would be talking the whole time. And it was really nice to be able to hear what was going on a little bit better. And then because I was sitting in the front, if someone would say something, it was a little bit easier to catch. And I could also turn around and look at the person if I noticed someone was saying something. So I could see their uh, mouth a little bit better, which helps me figure out what words are being said. I can't lip read, but I can usually pick it up a little bit more if I can see what they're saying. Also when I'm sleeping in the hotel or waiting to get up, I use my phone alarm instead of the alarm in the hotel room because I need the vibrations. So I'll use my phone and the vibrations from my phone to wake up. And then another challenge I face while traveling is if I'm in a country where they may be speaking English, but they have an accent. Usually that is also difficult for me to understand. So I'll tell people, you know, can you write that down? Or can you use my speech to text app? And that usually works good. And then there are countries where I've been to that they don't speak English very much or very often. And in those cases, I do try to, you know, have written things down. I've also taken Italian. And I haven't traveled there, but one thing I focused on was really being able to practice writing and reading Italian. So if I can't really hear the person, I can ask them to write down what they are saying and then I can read it and write back. And if you want to learn more about traveling or you have any questions that you want to ask me, I would love to hear from you. So go ahead and shoot me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Meet with Shelby to learn more about her experiences as a person who is hard of hearing. Email shelby.gelden at lssmn.org to set up a meeting today.